Well, we are following big news on Rocky Top tonight. It appears a former Vol quarterback, T. Martin, is making his return to Orange and White Nation as part of Jeremy Pruitt's staff. Yeah. So many people waking up to this this uh, morning. Exactly. You know, this, according to ESPN reporter Chris Lowe, many hope in the VFL will help the volunteers get back to what life on Rocky Top was like when he left. When you think of T. Martin, immediately thoughts of the Vols 1998 national title season come to mind. A year removed from the Manning era, Martin guided the Vols to a 13 0 record and the school's first national title in several decades. Now, that same season, Martin's arm did the talking as he broke numerous NCAA and SEC consecutive completion records, much of that coming when he tossed 22 consecutive completions in a game against South Carolina. Sometimes I hit the Bulls out, sometimes I hit around it, but they still caught the ball. You know, it was kind of like that for me. In his two seasons at the helm, Martin led the Vols to a 22 and 3 record. Record, which included perfect 2 0 marks against SEC rivals Alabama, Auburn, Georgia, Vanderbilt, and Kentucky. Now, following his time in Knoxville, Martin turned to the NFL, where he was a fifth round pick of the Pittsburgh Steelers in 2000. He would also spend time in the NFL World League and Canadian Football League. Who can get out of transition fast and win back to this line? But eventually, Martin would trade in the helmet for a whistle, where after numerous assistant roles in New Mexico and Kentucky, he would land at Southern Cal. And after turning away a reported offer by then Bulls head coach Butch Jones to return, to Rocky Top in 2012, Martin would rise to the role of offensive coordinator in 2016, where he helped lead the Trojans to a Rose Bowl win and a Pac-12 title just a year later. Ah, throw off, throw off, throw off. As a matter of fact, in 2017, Martin was a semifinalist for the Broyles Award given to college football's top assistant. That recognition leading to his name now being in the mix of candidates to return to Knoxville as part of the volunteer staff. I was going to go back to Tennessee was to be as the head coach and not as a coordinator, and I made that message very clear. So uh, when I was out of that discussion, then they moved on to, to do what they had to do. Of course, that was back in 2017. Yep. And it was kind of rumored maybe to come here to be an offensive coordinator. He said he wanted to be the coach. Uh, who knows? Now mm -hmm. we are a year later, two yeah. years later, and uh, looks like maybe he's back. But one thing to, to point out, you know, we noted in 2000 he was part of the NFL draft. Right. And he was one of six quarterbacks taken before some guy named Tom Brady. Hmm. Yeah, interesting, huh? But it just goes to show the amazing college career he had. Two years yeah. starting. In, amazing. In phenomenal career. career. The online feedback from all of this, if this in fact comes true, yeah. they make this big announcement, I think Vol Nation's going to go crazy. Oh, I think so. Yeah. I think so.